that when the spider leaves its leaf to go into the water, these tiny hairs all over its abdomen, carapace head area, um, creates an instant bubble. It would take a very slow action camera to capture that. I don't think my camera could do that. But when those, when it quickly jumps into the water, all those little hairs grab little oxygen molecules, bubbles, and it forms into one great big bubble that goes around the whole abdomen of the spider, including its uh, head area. And, um, and, and that's what keeps the spider underwater. It can stand underwater and breathe through all these little holes. Well, they're not holes, but um, little vessels that open up and let the oxygen come through the abdomen and get right into the bloodstream and get to the heart and then can be pumped around through the body. And I've actually sat here and watched 15 minutes and watched the spider under the leaf hanging out from underneath. And I could watch the bubble gradually, it looks nice and big silver bubble at first. Gradually, after over time, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, it starts to dwindle down to almost nothing. And then the bubble's gone completely as all the oxygen been, has been uh, absorbed into the spider's body. Then it quick jumps back to the surface and on top of the leaf again. So what I thought was happening in the pond was, it was diving down under the leaf litter. Here's my new theory, and I believe it's true from having watched her here. I believe now, nine out of ten, ten times, when the spider leaves its uh, surface to go underwater, it goes directly under what it's been sitting on, flips over and attaches itself to the bottom of that until that oxygen runs out. An awesome design. Uh, what, a, what a unique spider this is. So. Uh, I'm, I got a couple of little fish I put in here for her just a little while ago. I'm watching to see if she, oh, she's getting, she's looking around now. So she's putting her foot in the water to feel for vibrations. Let's, let's go back and take a look at her. It's early evening, sun is set, and the female has caught herself a fish. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to capture it on the video. The male is right over here on the edge of the leaf, kind of keeping his distance. standoff but the gal's got the fish the guy's got nothing but he might not be interested in the fish he might be more interested in the female time will tell let's see if maybe I can coax the male to come out and maybe go on my hand we'll see if he can stay calm for that or not they're very very fast spiders and I don't want to lose the male. Of course, he's already done his work, being a daddy. But I'd rather keep them intact. He's checking me out with a little toe touch. So I'll respond with a little toe touch as well. It 
doesn't like me coming up from behind. He's checking me out with his hind legs. He'd rather have me come from the front, which, which would make sense even for a human being. We wouldn't want to be approached from the rear and surprised in any way, but um, coming from the front, we can at least see or feel what's coming our way. Well, I'm gonna try a little different approach and uh, just lift the leaf out here. And there we go. Out comes the male. Here's the boy right here. As I put the male back into his habitat, he's made his way above the female, and they are in contact with each other, just to check who is around me. You can see the contact of the two legs. These two here, and males on the abdomen of the female. Now since she has her eggs there, she might not be so happy with daddy's presence or the male's presence. And she may choose to shoo him. Hope to see how this plays out. These two seem to be content with each other. So no worries. Mama just relaxes through it all. Papa's taking a little spider snooze. doesn't like me coming up from behind. He's checking me out with his hind legs. He'd rather have me come from the front, which, which would make sense even for a human being. We wouldn't want to be approached from the rear and surprised in any way, but um, coming from the front, we can at least see or feel what's coming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Got up this morning. And I thought this was the male because I didn't see the egg sac. But that's Mama. And she has 
has been busy tending to her hundreds of spiderlings that have hatched from the egg sac uh, early this morning. They all look pretty healthy and are busy scrambling around. Congratulations, Mom. You did a great job and you are a great mom. Now I bet Father is anxious right now because you're probably hungry. Let's see, how many days has it been since you laid your egg sack here? Well, it's been exactly 20 days. So now I know the gestation period of the six-spotted fishing spider. 20 days, at least for this lady. Young six spotted fishing spiders. Sweet! Getting used to their eight legs, spinneret abilities, and uh, their siblings. Well, I couldn't be happier. Six days after these spiderlings have hatched, they planned a jailbreak. <laughs> and of the 300 babies, 200 of them escaped out of a small breathing hole I had made in the habitat. And when I turned the light on where I had them, um, there were hundreds of drag threads. That's little, fine little um, webbing strands that take them from one place to another. So, uh, last night, I'd say about 200 of the 300 uh, escaped. <laughs> and when I turn the light on, there's all these drag threads and spiders all over them up on the lamp. Uh, now, these little spiderlings are just micro spiders, if you will. Little tiny things. So, here's some of them here, still on the lamp shade. Staying close to each other for a little while anyway, because they're not quite sure where they need to be going. So, um, I have some more search, well, the search is right here, and rescue, retrieval, if you will, of these uh, spiderlings. I recaptured uh, most of them. This morning I'm still gathering a few and putting them with their other siblings. And obviously these guys will be released today out near some ponds and fields where uh, where they came from. So, my wife doesn't know it. Shh, don't let her know. I'd be in the doghouse. Actually, I'd probably be out of the doghouse and running for my life. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>